Hey, hello, what is going on? This is your Customs and Global Trade Update for week number seven, 2022. We take a look back at all the things that happened in Customs and Global Trade and present you some highlights. If you need the links to the laws and the guidances, then here is the link to click. It gives you direct access to all the changes we'll be discussing. Hey, before we get started, let's get social together. Join us on LinkedIn, subscribe, like, and share our YouTube channel. We're on Twitter at the handle Customs Manager. Hey, we're even on Facebook. So the first piece of news looks at a big, big deal because this is about Chinese fasteners and the EU that imposed an ADD on those fasteners. Now, fasteners are essential elements for a vast amount of industry from simple screws to do-it-yourself kits to high-end applications in car, aviation, and electrical industries. The EU fastener industry, would you believe, is worth 3.2 billion euros, and it is one-tenth of those fasteners imported from China. So having slapping an ADD on Chinese fasteners is a big deal. And this impacts SMEs, right, that employ more than 20,000 people across Europe in countries such as Italy, France, Germany, Poland, Croatia, Sweden, and Spain, or the fasteners industry. So this is a big deal. And last week, European Commission imposed a regular, uh, published a regulation that imposed this anti-dumping duty on certain iron and steel fasteners imported from China. And that means that we now have additional duties to pay for certain Chinese fasteners from certain companies between 22.1 and 86.5%. That is a major, major blow because now Chinese fasteners are just so much more expensive. This measure follows an investigation which shows the presence of significant dumping on the market with Chinese imports heavily undercutting European sales prices and therefore injuring the European fastener industry. So it's supposed to help the European fasteners industry, but effectively, if you're importing fasteners from China, they're likely going to be more expensive. If you want to know more about what an ADD is, what an, uh, CBD is, and how this investigation and dumping works, we've linked that um, on the, um, we've linked an article that we created on ADD, specifically in the blog entry and uh, on the comments down below. So check these out. There's more. And if you've overpaid ADD or you want to get some money back, there is also information on how you get to do that. Hey, switching gears. Second topic is about sanctions. There's a lot of sanctions going on uh, at the moment. The EU has issued sanctions against Belarus for many, many years. Uh, this is mainly due to serious violations of human rights and the repression or the repression of civil society and democratic opposition. We know that. But lately, of course, we had this migrant issue at the Belarus border. So this is about facilitating the illegal crossing of the external borders of the Union. So illegally crossing equipment, people over into the EU. So that's why we're having new sanctions now. So there's an amendment to the sanctions regulations of 765-2006, and that imposes new definitions. And you, if you're dealing with Belarus, you've got to read that carefully. Um, but also, if you're only indirectly dealing with a Belarus, you might also be affected. So please check out the sanctions law against Belarus in its latest changes. Switching gears, because we're covering the UK as well, there is new guidance on various sanctions, as well as some changes to names and additions on sanctions lists. And the key one I want to point out is the guidance on Russia, because Russia is in the news very much right now, and many UK businesses are trading with, uh, with Russia. And also so many European companies trade with the UK and then it might go to Russia. So there is a lot that's at stake when you deal with Russia. Please note that in the UK, it's quite complicated now. We've got SAMLA, obviously, and plus then of course the Russian specific regulation. So that's the main piece of regulation. And then we have statutory instruments. There's amendment number two, amendment number four, and now there's a new 2022 amendment I alluded to already last week. So if you want to understand the full complexity of UK-Russian sanctions, then you've got to read all of those and uh, put that into the context with the sanctions list of individuals, as well as um, entities and organizations. Okay, and just to complete, so the UK has been really busy on the sanctions front. So there are, I think, about 10 countries that have had new HM. Uh, treasury notices issued, and you can see them here, and that means there are changes to the list that you need to be aware of. And then final thing that struck my, um, struck my interest this week was on classification, would you believe? There is guidance that was updated on how to classify footwear and parts of footwear. 
And that's interesting um, because, of course, classification is so important. When you deal with footwear in particular, this is mainly chapter 64, you know that footwear usually um, attracts a high amount of customs duty. So it's really important that you leverage all the um, opportunities for you to reduce that duty. And it starts with classification. You also know if you are in the footwear industry that um, classification in footwear is particularly complex. Um, and if you want to get it right, you really need to know your product. Um, there is, of course, a heightened risk if the company, if the duty rate is high and the classification is complex, um, that you might not get it right. Or you might have a look at what is my preferential duty rate and so that you must get that right. So there's an increased risk, if you want, of a misclassification if classification is so complex. Therefore, we have this guidance. This guidance is going to help us classify the product correctly, which is great. Don't forget that we are um, very keen on helping customs managers and global trade professionals get the HS code for their products right. So we have a lot of guidance on our expert blog. And we also, as you know, offer free consultation if you're concerned about classification. And in particular for this footwear uh, issue, please check out our ultimate guide to footwear HS codes, um, also available for you to check out on our expert blog. And then in the great news for the UK, if you're so inclined, you know that the UK applied for the CPTPP and it is dubbed one of the largest and most exciting free trading clubs in the world. And that shows you very much um, what kind of mind frame the UK is in. Pretty much, do we want to join this club or do we not want to join this club? It's kind of a club rather than a free trade agreement um, that, is, that is legal and, and the likes of it. Anyway, be that as it may, we're on our road. Uh, the UK, not even bordering the Pacific, but that's another story for another day, um, is on its road to joining the CPTPP and made an application in 2020. And now, since um, last week, it was officially announced that it's on the road to joining. It's in the final stages. And now the market access negotiation starts. And that means that you know we get to put on the table how many lines of, of a duty we're gonna we're gonna abolish in the UK for the benefit of the markets of uh, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Singapore, and, and the, the likes of it. And in return, they will they will reciprocate and um, allow um, the UK goods to enter their markets for zero duty. And then we expect the accession to happen, and that would mean that 99% of the goods from um, um, would enter the UK goods would enter tariff free. So this is it uh, on the news, just a, a couple of um, quick uh, information points. So we are currently on the road of uh, carrying out Brexit webinars on the introduction of customs control in GB in 2022. And as you can see here, we do this in German together with the AVA, we are very proud, huh? the Academy. And you can see here what the agenda looks like. There's one more session that you can join over on the other website. So if you are interested in getting a German version of the introduction of customs control in GB in 2022, or you know someone who would benefit from this, then please uh, make sure you check out the other website because this is where you can um, book and get the live version of it. If you're not there and you can't join us live, we will be recording a German version of this webinar also on our expert blog. And you can see the link here below where you can already download the presentation and the one hour update in German on customs uh, controls and GV will be provided there as well. And last week, we had the opportunity to speak together with uh, um, with uh, two organizations on the consequences of Brexit. Again, that was in German. However, we presented a, um, a quadrant such as this and we've translated it into English for you. So it shows the consequences of Brexit in a nutshell. And if you want to, to understand how this all works and what this one, two, three, four mean, then over on our website, we are going to discuss it in more details. So there is the information. If you want to understand more about all the topics that we discussed today, then really there is a lot of links that you can check out. You can get background information and learn more about it. And it's all here. Remember that some articles are free. Others, you've got to join us in our subscription. And that starts at one pound a day. So it's really affordable. 
Um, and don't forget, as I said in the beginning, if you're interested in the links of all the laws and the guidance, then you just head over to the expert blog custom manager, click on this, and then from the Russia sanctions um, legislation to the ADD FASMA legislation, all of that is there ready for you to explore. So go explore the websites. Thank you very much for your attention. Don't forget to stay up to date on our mailing list. See you on LinkedIn, see you on Twitter, and see you on the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye.